Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to run Spearman's Row Analysis in SPSS. So first and foremost, how do we differentiate Spearman Row from that of Pearson R? Uh, if both are used in determining if there are if there's a significant correlation between variables. Well, um, Pearson R is parametric, whereas Spearman Row is a non-parametric test of correlation. And um, there are several guidelines in determining when do we use Pearson R and when do we use Spearman Row. So one of those guidelines is the level of measurement of the data. If you're dealing with a continuous data, meaning um, the data is interval or ratio, and another continuous data, then you can use Pearson R. But if you want to correlate two ordinal variables, for example, your ranking in school and your ranking in a national exam, then that's the time that we have to use Spearman Row. Aside from the level of measurement, one more thing to consider is whether we whether or not we have fulfilled the assumption of um, that are necessary to fulfill in running um, the Pearson R correlation. And specifically, one of those assumptions is the assumption of normality. So a normal distribution is required before you run a Pearson R analysis. And if the distribution is not normal, then it may yield results that are incorrect. Or the, the results may not be significant, for example, or the results may not be totally accurate. So in those instances, um, in instances in which there's a violation of the assumption of normality, a good alternative is to run the Spearman row correlation instead of the Pearson R. Okay, so let me show you an example. This is from the thesis of my students this semester. And what they wanted to examine is the correlation between the Tagasolo personality trait and how it relates to stress, anxiety, and depression. For context, Tagasolo personality is like a catcher personality in which people with high Tagasolo personality um, believe that they have to rescue or catch everyone in the family to serve as a mediator between conflicts and to take care of everyone in the family. Um, so they would like to examine if you are a tagasalo, does it make you more likely to be prone to stress, anxiety, and depression? So that is their research question. And then while doing the analysis, so let's try running a Pearson R correlation by clicking on Analyze, Correlate, and by Variate. Before we run a Spearman um, correlation, let's first run a Pearson R analysis. So I drag the variables from the left to the right. So we have here that as a low stress, anxiety, and depression. And then click on OK. And then we found out that, um, now you can see the correlation matrix. You found out that, um, we found out that that as a low personality was associated positively with stress. So they are people who have high Tagasalo personality characteristics are more likely to feel elevated amounts of stress. But it's not related to anxiety. Look at the p-value. It's greater than 0 0.05. And it's not associated as well with depression. Okay, so we were trying to determine what could have been the cause of this. And we realized that maybe we were not able to check the assumptions before we run the analysis. And so let me show you how it turned out. So how did we check the assumption? So going back to the data set, we can click on Analyze. And let's click on Descriptive Statistics and click on Explore. And um, in Explore, just let me, I'll, I'll show you how we did this, how we um, did this part. So we drag all the variables to the dependent list. And then, since what we want to determine is normality, we click on plots. You can uncheck stem and leaf and histogram. No need for this unless you're, you want to see the stem and leaf and the histogram. We just check on normality plots with tests and click on continue and click on OK. Now, um, in this video, we are particularly interested with the test of normality. So as we can see, we have here the Colmorgan-Smirnov test and the Shapiro-Wilk test. Okay, 
these are tests of normality. We use the Shapiro Wilk when we are dealing with a sample size that is small, meaning um, less than 50. But if the sample size is greater than 50, we use the Kolmogorov Smirnov test. Um, but in both tests, the interpretation is like this. If, if the if the p-value is less than 0 0.05, just like these values, if it's less than 0 0.05, meaning the assumption of normality was violated, it means that the data is not normal, the data is skewed. But if the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, it means that the data set is normal. But, but as we can see here, the p-values are less than 0 0.05 for all variables, meaning the assumption of normality was violated, which could mean that um, the results of the Pearson R correlation may not be totally accurate and caution must be exercised when interpreting the results. Now, instead of using the Pearson R, since we know that the assumption of normality was violated, we can run instead a Spearman analysis, Spearman row correlation. So to do that, let's click on analyze. Let's, let's click once again on correlate and then by variate. And then here down below, instead of using Pearson R, let's choose instead Spearman row or Spearman, and then click on OK. And here's the result of the Spearman correlation. As you can see this time, Tagasalo personality is positively associated with stress, with anxiety, okay, and with depression, as indicated by the asterisk signifying significant association, and as indicated by the p-values. So if we compare this with the results we got earlier, the results were not significant in the Pearson R, but in the Spearman row analysis, now Tadasado is associated with anxiety and depression, and not just stress, but also with anxiety and with depression. So to conclude this video, let me show you how my students reported the results. Okay, The study aims to examine the mental health consequences of Pananalo by associating the Tagasalo personality to um, psychological distress. I think it's better to say with, or by exam, we can also say by examining the association of Tagasalo personality with, um, Tagasal with psychological distress. It was hypothesized that there is a significant relationship between Tagasalo personality and psychological distress, particularly stress, anxiety, and depression. The data was analyzed using Spearman's row since a violation of the assumption of normality was observed as indicated by a significant kolmogorov smirnov statistic. The results show that there was a significant positive correlation between the Tagasalo personality and psychological distress. Maybe to avoid redundancy, we can just say between Tagasalo personality and um, stress between Tagasalo personality, there was a significant positive correlation between Tagasalo personality and stress, anxiety, and depression. We can see here that the symbol we use is the Greek character for rho instead of the R, which is used for Pearson R. Okay? So that's it, everyone, for our demonstration on how, on when and how to use Spearman Row um, in, S, um, in research using SPSS. I hope you learned a lot about how it's different compared to Pearson R. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.